Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I always appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Now let me ask you this question. Has there been a game where you remember the game being a certain way, and then you play the game years later, let's say two and a half decades later, and it is nothing like you remember, but it's also still really, really good. If so, let me show, share that experience with you today when we talk about Rygar. Now, Rygar is a game that I was introduced to as a very young child by my uh, my cousins, um, Monique and Tisha. Now, we uh, we lived with them a couple of times throughout my life, but this was uh, this was the early '90s. And they always had video games, but they were never really into games quite like I was. But they had this game, Rygar, and I had just remember like, oh, yeah, the guy's got the disc on the string and, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's fighting different things and you got to go from point A to point B. And I was like, yeah, I remember that game being pretty fun. And I hadn't played it in probably 25 years. I'm going to be honest with you. But I wanted to play it again for this series because I always felt like it was um, not necessarily underrated, but never, never got, got the longevity of some other franchises. I know it came back on the, I want to say the PlayStation 2. Uh, I might be mistaken. It might have been PS3, but I'm pretty sure it's PlayStation 2. And even then, it was like it came out and then, you know, stuff like God of War started coming out. And it was kind of like no one really rocked with it like that anymore. And it's, you know, not to say that that, you know, it deserved to be applauded for just existing but i went back and i started playing this game and first and foremost let me let me let you know ahead of time it is hard right part of it is you know you you kind of just get thrown out there uh it's a very trial and error type of game the cool thing is though that all you gotta do is press start and it starts you off the last place that you were you know with whatever progress you've made whether it's collected weapons which there are several different ones um, you know, if you've leveled up, which I didn't realize was in the game, you actually get XP for killing all these enemies, which is why they seem to respond like as soon as you kill one, 17 of them come back. Um, but it's because you do get points for killing them and you get things like increased damage, increased life. Um, if you start to notice, if you watch the video and, and you may not pay attention to it, and, and that's OK, but the enemies start to take less hits as I start to do, you know, as I progress further. And you'll see that my life gets increased and there's different items that you can get while you're playing. And I was just always like, I, as I'm playing it, I'm like, why didn't I hear even more about this? Now, I know people that are similar of age that they you know, hold this game into decent esteem, but it's never one of those games where I hear people that are younger than me or even, you know, just when we talk about games from your childhood that a lot of people bring up. And maybe, you know, if I beat this game, I see that it's not that good or whatever. But from what I played just to making this video, I think that this game is severely underrated. First and foremost, the fact that you just press start after you die and you go back to the same area. Fantastic. Now, I will say it, it doesn't tell you where to go, you know, in so many ways. Like they tell you different directions and things like that. But um, I don't know how you were supposed to know where to go in general because I don't see any kind of map. And I tried to figure out how to you know, get that working. But I still think this game is just it's it's really good, especially considering what the other games around this time. This is 87. So and this is Tecmo and Tecmo. You know, if you remember from some of the earlier videos, Tecmo has Ninja Gaiden, which is a certified classic. So. You know, it doesn't surprise me that they were able to put something else together that that's as solid as this. Um, I don't like the fact that, you know, the enemies do spawn at a ridiculous rate. And sometimes it's a little bit of a trap. But again, if I die, just press start, come right back. Uh, the guys in the caves, I don't know who they're supposed to be, but they are not as helpful as I would like them to be. Sometimes they just give you a message and tell you that you need something. And I've not seen any indication of what that item is. But, you know, we still progress through. Um, the enemy variety as you start to progress to different areas is really cool and it even goes into this top down type of gameplay which I thought was really you know really cool and different and something I hadn't experienced before in a, in a game that was like this usually with a game like Rygar you know take Ninja Gaiden for example there is no change in you know the viewpoint for example which may not mean a lot to a lot of people but again you have to put it in context of, of this time not many games did a change in viewpoint. You know, it was basically what the game was. It, you know, that's it. That's what you do. And that's how you play. 
and then you know the different different locations just again one of the requirements for an nes game is can i tell what everything is and believe you me there are plenty of games where you cannot this is not one of them you know your character although sometimes kind of blends in never really feels like you can't tell where you are or what you're doing you can genuine generally see what you can walk across and what you can't i didn't really come across a situation where i thought i could jump onto something and i couldn't um, i'm also very cautious so maybe that's part of it but i was just you know this whole time i'm like yeah this is this is really really solid so um i was pleasantly surprised i, I kind of thought the game in my memories it was like a stage one stage two type of thing not this one giant map that you have to explore everything so again you know positive experiences positive experiences all around um but I know that there are a lot of you who have played this game, have beat this game, probably have great memories and stories involved in this game. So although this is not one of the longer videos, I still wanted to give a shout out to Rygar for being very underrated, in my opinion, and just just solid all around. And also, again, being able to press start once you die and come back to the same area. A plus. All right. Shouts out to you all. But as always, appreciate you checking out the video. Have fun. Be safe. Peace.